your boy Axel, back again for another video, but in this one we're going to do three tips in three minutes to help you become a better e-skate slider. And since we don't have much time, let's get to it! Wah! I'll start a little bit of the uh, e-skate foo. So, for tip number one, and in my best e-skate foo voice, Master the setup car. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyway, your setup cars help you gain rhythm and timing leading up to your slide. I often found when I failed my slide, it was because my setup car was either too shallow, too deep, too soon, or just too late. Do not underestimate your setup car. When you do a good setup cuff and you hit that slide right on its sweet spot, then the whole world, it just feels... It just feels right. So make sure you master your setup cuff and you hit that slide sweet spot. Do it! So now for tip number two. Check your setup. And when I'm talking about slide setup, I'm mainly talking about wheels. Because we're not savages! Look, good bushings and pivot cups definitely do make a difference. I personally use Riptide. Good grip tape helps you stay on top of the board when you're sliding. But if your wheels slide like rubbish, it doesn't matter how good those components are. I've found with my experience, my favourite wheels to slide are the Boa Sigmas, the Lazy Rolling Glow Wheels and the Orangutan Purple Piguamas. The reason why I like these wheels is because they have good slide initiation and are predictable in the slide. When it comes to wheels, there's a lot of personal preference involved and some trial and error. But when you do find that winning formula for you, try to stick with it because if you trust your equipment, then you're more than likely to push your own limits. So if you find something good and it suits you, try to stick with it. So now for our third and final tip. Hook your feet! And by hook, I mean hang. Yeah. So what I do, to turn my heavy electric skateboard is I hang my rear foot over the edge of the rail of the board and I use it to hook the board around. This method has some negative nicknames such as monkey toe but I think it is essential for e-skate sliding to get your board sideways. So if you're not already doing it, you should start now. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found the tips useful. Hit me up in the comments if you've got any more questions and make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!